Let's find the exact value of a cosine using the half angle formula. All right, given that the sine of alpha is equal to 4 fifths, and alpha lies in quadrant 2, and the fact that the cosine of beta is equal to 5 thirteenths, and beta lies in quadrant 1, we want to find the exact value of the cosine of beta over 2. All right, first, let's look at the formula here. We have the cosine of beta over 2 is equal to plus or minus the square root of 1 plus the cosine of beta all over 2. And for this particular problem, we only need our beta triangle. Now note, since beta lies in quadrant 1, we know that the cosine value is positive in quadrant 1, so we can throw out the negative here. We'll just be looking at the positive case. And so from this, the cosine of beta over 2 is equal to the square root of 1 plus the cosine of beta. We know the cosine of beta in this case to be given as 5 thirteens, and for that matter, you really didn't need your triangle, but it's nice to have. A little comfort there for you. All over 2. Now we need to simplify. We'll multiply within the radicals here, top and bottom, by 13. What you do in the numerator, you have to do in the denominator, and again, that is inside the radical. Carefully here, we get the square root of 13 plus 5 on the top, all over in the denominator, the square root of 26. All right, let's continue to simplify this. In the numerator, the square root of 18, all over the square root of 26, and of course, we need to simplify this. You could reduce, you could use a couple other ideas here, but whatever you do, you end up with 3 all over the square root of 13. And once we rationalize, multiplying top and bottom by the square root of 13, we end up with 3 square roots of 13 all over 13, and there is our exact answer that's rationalized.